It depends on the situation. I, I'm gonna be very honest. Like, uh, perfect example. You know, everybody is on this stand on business thing, right? <laughs> right. We ain't taking no fuck boys. If you ain't doing this, if you ain't nope, 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 nope. I ain't dealing with it, mm-hmm. right? But right. you know what that does? What it leaves you lonely. Because you're standing on business, so you're like, no, I'm not talking to him no more because he don't do that because he do X, Y, Z. I ain't talking to him no more. I ain't fucking with him no more. Since you're done saying on that topic, so women have a long list of things. I understand, but what what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is we stand on business, Mm -hmm. right? And you're missing blessings. That's what you're saying. I ain't going to even say blessing. (laughs) We missing out on, on stress relievers. (laughs) <laughs> look at my bread, look at my show, look at my home. I just need that conversation. Look at my bread, look at my show, look at my home. I just need that conversation. Combo, 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 combo. I just need that conversation. Combo, 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 combo. I just need that conversation. Big bag of money, look like Betty. Hey, everybody, my, my name is Aurelius Kingdom. Is that your real last name? That is my real last name. Aurelius Kingdom. Aurelius Kingdom. Your mama last name Kingdom? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. You, when you got older, you start liking it more? Yeah. Did you look like you was slow to answer that? Because y'all, y'all um, know. As a kid, I didn't I didn't even like Aurelius. Cause I mean, even to this day, nobody can say it. But I wanted to have a regular name like everybody else. I didn't want to be different. I wanted, as a child, I wanted to be like everybody else. But as an adult, then you like the word. I have embraced my uniqueness, which is actually what my name means. Aurelius means unique. <laughs> is, it, is it like what country? Like what? It ain't American, is it right? Um, it's, I think was it African? I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember the what? What is the word for it? I don't know. Uh, so I'm trying to like. I got kind of pretty sure. I can't think that of the word. The origin. I, I don't you know, know the origin, but name, I know what it means. My name Chris. White boy name. <laughs> I know the origin. Mouse Johnson. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I, I have one of those too. You do. You do. Christian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want you to give everybody your five topics. Okay. Yeah, so then. my five topics. Let me scroll back up. We are going to talk about mental health as it pertains to relationships, whether that be friendship or relationship, like um, intimate relationships, the removal of the stigma of mental illness, being woke versus being crazy, (laughs) mental health in the black community, and therapy for a ch- for healing childhood trauma. So let's tackle that number one. Y'all don't, don't shake up on me. I know I had to go back and look at it again. <laughs> so okay, this is what I'm gonna say. Um, if you don't know anything about me, um, I have a YouTube channel where I I pretty much make lifestyle content but it's from a mental health perspective because i live with multiple mental disorders am i supposed to be looking at you or you can look either way because that way you got them different angles oh okay i don't know yeah you got, it's okay <laughs> so, you, got, yeah. you got your different angles you can um, look over there all right now these are your two cameras so okay yeah so because i live with mental disorders um i choose to make content about it because i feel like People need to see this side of mental illness. I think so too. Um, which goes into the stigma, which goes into the another topic, which is the stigma, because I feel like when people think about people with mental illnesses, they always think about crazy people. They do, because you know? that's, a lot of times they're saying that, but that, that's all they see. They don't see the struggle of it. They, uh, they're not, and they probably ain't never lived with somebody that has. I I live with somebody that had it. So I'm I'm used to it. I had to sleep beside them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm used to. So let me ask you this question. Did y'all talk about it in your family? Was it something that y'all talked about? 
Well, something we didn't talk about it. The first, oh, first thing when it first happened, we just think something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Then once he started talking and letting it out, then we understood what was going on. But he wasn't himself. So he's one person this day, then he's this person the other day. Same thing. But we didn't diagnose it. You know, black people do. We just pray about pray. it. Go to church. <laughs> yeah, he'll pray about it. Just, Lord, hallelujah. Yeah, my grandma heard she was, she, she, it scared her. So she was like, oh, my demons. <laughs> Put oil on yeah, it, baby. So, Some water, yeah. holy water. Yeah, so we didn't, we didn't handle it. I'm going to say because the lack of knowledge. We didn't handle yeah. it the right way. Don't we like especially then we don't we don't know it ain't too much like that's why we need you to come out because people don't understand it and and they're afraid to step out there and I'm gonna tell you a lot of a lot of people are not aware of what's going on with themselves. I'm so glad you said that. I was talking to a lady the other day, and we were talking, and you know I was telling her, you know, my mind do this. And she was like, yeah, my mind do that, and then my mind do this, and and I was like, yeah, my mind does that too. And what I ended up saying to her was, you know, what 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 it sounds like you're describing is BPD. Right. You know, which is something that I have, borderline personality disorder. Right. You know, and when I said that to her, you know, she was just kind of like, you know, didn't really give me a response. Right, right, right. You ain't gonna tell me I'm, that was then that because I promise you, people fight with it. Mm-hmm. And if you tell them they got symptoms of it, now nah, you ain't gonna tell me I'm something wrong because that's what they that what they that's what they taking off of. You saying something wrong with me? Mm-hmm. And like you said, you dealt with it personally. Right. I dealt with it too. Right. Um, with both of my kids as well. Yeah. So I. So your your brother? My brother, yeah. Was he in denial about he, his? No, he's not. Den- he's not in denial at all. Okay. See, my but both he's not gonna come out and tell. Unless he's just not like what you're not gonna. Like like you voicing it, he's not gonna do that. You gotta like he just like y'all know what's going on. That's it. He cool with that, but he's not gonna just put the world in the awareness of like this. Is what may be wrong? This is what me like you like you went down with that lady. My brother wasn't saying nothing. He's, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I feel you. I feel you, but I think with my boys, it's a denial thing. Is that what you think it is? And I'm like, I don't understand how y'all can be in denial when, first of all, look who your mama is. Right. <laughs> look who your crazy daddy is. Right. Right. You expect to be untouched. You know, I, I don't know. What no, that. no, I'm asking my kids. Oh, yeah, this, is all. <laughs> this is me asking my kids. You right. expect to be untouched? No, nah, it ain't gonna work like this. You know what I'm saying? I recently spent a weekend with my aunt, right? Uh-huh. And because my whole life, I've always blamed my mental illness on my dad, right? Uh-huh. I've always said it came from my dad's side, which it did. However, because my aunt, she actually told me where it all came from. Mm-hmm. You know, she was like, her great grandmother, as a child, was sitting next to her mother, uh-huh. and her mother got shot in the back of the head. Oh! And so she's a child; she never processed it, never talked about it. She internalized it, mm. and so now you know how they be like. You know, people in that family, you know, they this way, they steal, they go to jail, they crazy, they gamblers. But you know how it be in a family. You get what I'm saying, like. Like a family trait? Yeah, it's gonna become a trait. So yeah, she People don't know how to stay how traits work. Traits for even work like that with food. If your granddad ate a ain't consumed a lot of food and he got a bad heart, he can pass that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so it works like that. Yeah. Right? It's just how it things be in the family. But yeah, that's kinda how she said it. And she was just like, baby, everybody in the family touched. Mm. However, the way my aunt my aunt talked to me and questioned me. She also made me look at my mom. She did? Cause my auntie's always got that tea though. I don't know. But she I mean, she didn't know she didn't know my mom, but I'm just saying, like I said, I always said it was my daddy. My daddy, my daddy. But she was like, I raised be honest with yourself and think about some other ways that you have. You know you probably have some of your mama ways too. Right. You know, and some of the mental illness may have come from your mom. You know, um, I mean, not to go too into detail, but, you know, I just feel like my mom didn't achieve what she wanted to achieve in life. And 
I think she always felt a way about that. You know. I think a lot of moms feel like they didn't come. Like some of them just, uh, they had r- dreams. I don't think, you don't think your mama back in the day, she had these dreams she didn't want to tell nobody because she just wanted to be that person for the family or people. so many people depend on her, she killed that dream. Yeah. This is, again, why I say generational curses because my mom, now she did used to say, you know, she wish she would have went in the military, right? Mm, see? She didn't, but I did. She pushed me to go into the military and I, for the life of me, I am so grateful that I listened to her. Right. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I listened to her. But, you know, just thinking about, you know, she, I'm pretty sure she compared herself to her siblings. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not as successful as them. You know, I don't have what they have. You know, and that probably caused some depression, you know, and some other kind of issues, you know, feeling emptiness and all this or whatever. And... When I think about myself and the way I feel sometimes, I'm like, hmm, I feel like that sometimes too. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. But it, she, it definitely, she definitely made me question, like, I think my mom dealt with some depression. I think, well, I don't know. I think all moms, all for real. Because they, women did, like, back in the day, see, now the, the women now, they have a, a lot. They got outlets. Yeah. It wasn't too many outlets back then. But you know why? We talked about this in one of my, uh, I'm in a women veteran group. And um, one of the ladies said, the reason why, it's like therapy, for example. Mm -hmm. People don't go to therapy because they associate therapy with being crazy. They do. Because that was a stigma that was placed on therapy back in the day. And nobody ever went in and cleared that up. Now, yeah, in 2024, people are more open Ooh, about but, mental illness, you know, therapy and things. But I, when I asked you, did y'all talk about mental illness in your family growing up? I remember one time saying to my mom, like, I'm depressed. And she was like, no, we don't claim that. You know? I, I probably, it's like, it's not checked because they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They they don't know. So how can they address something they don't know about? They mm-hmm. can't even tell you what's going on with you. A lot of things they didn't want us to know. We, we still catching up as black people. Exactly. So that's not like, but you know, white people always been going to therapy. They made it a normal. You'll be surprised. White people do go, but you'll be surprised how many white people be like, girl, my family like that too. We don't talk about mental illness either. Oh, I see. But they go, but you see more of them. More going. white people do go? Yes, they, yes, They yes. go. So all of them, all of them ain't feeling, like, I'm going to say, but the majority feels like they, like this a normal thing. I'm going mm-hmm. through something, go talk to somebody. Yeah. They go talk. And I feel like they just don't got that connection like us. So it's like, they ain't got time to do all that talking no way. Mm-hmm. Like nah, go talk, go talk. <laughs> like that's how it's. I don't know, but a white man ain't tell you that was crazy. A black man started that. Ain't no way a white man said, "Oh, you you loony." I just feel like cause they put that amongst amongst black folks. Cause especially if a strong, you tell a strong man something wrong with him, hmm. a strong man, and he already think he got it together. I ain't going through that. I know as a black man, <laughs> you ain't gonna tell me I'm going through that night when I. Like and, and as as a young black man, I ain't got it together yet. But I'm still feel like I got it together. Of course. So if a man call me, come to me and tell me something wrong with me, I might get pissed off. <laughs> I might, cause you ain't gonna tell me that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't black men were very angry back in the days too, because what they had to go through. They had a reason, like, rightfully they, so. Right. So when a white man come and tell you some, like you talking about something wrong with you or. PTSD, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Go talk to somebody. Because in the military, they offered you that. Mm-hmm. Or you got out of prison, they white people offered you that. You do a, a bunch of time in prison. They try to tell you go see, go go talk to somebody before you go back. What they do? <laughs> they try to what is the word? Yeah, my, my, my pops off. did. My pops did ten, and my homeboy did thirteen. When they got out, they tried to tell him go talk to somebody because you know you finna go. It's gonna be a, a shit. Reprogram. Your yeah, mind. because you've been in there so long. Mm. You, you might not. You 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 gonna might this world gonna be seen like space age. You, yeah. You've been locked up in here so long, so that's. And I, pretty much, that's that's I would say something that's something a a black man, a strong black man. That's, they he want to be told. My daddy still don't want to be told what to do by them. 
I can understand that. Again, I mean, that's my boys. Like, especially my oldest son. Like, I legit, I tell him A, B, C, D, E. Mm. You are a narcissist because you do this. You do this. You say this. You act like this. You do. And I give him very specific. Do he get mad? Words. <laughs> like we got into an argument one time, not even going into detail, but instead of him admitting that he was wrong, mm -hmm. he was like, Well, I'll just leave you. You know, and you we won't be, talk no more. Probably don't want, how old is your son? Twenty two now. Twenty two. So he don't wanna he don't wanna say nothing to mama. That might be like upset mama. Like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. He ain't gonna feel No, no, no. His I truly feel like his thing was he could not admit that he was wrong. He's still young. He's still processing. I understand that. I understand that. And again, that goes back to trying to deal with my son and his mental illness when I'm still dealing with dealing you. with my own. And like I told you, I research and I read and I'm still trying to figure I'm out. Ask you this. Do you, this is what I want you to because uh, you don't think sometimes being like that, the internet kind of triggers some more things. Cause I gotta, I ain't gonna say no names. I know the internet, somebody uh, real close to me, but don't nobody want. I don't want to say that about it. But the internet makes hers worse because she's reading too much. She's reading way too much, and then she bring it to life. She brings it to life, and then when we get in the group, uh, a family group, oh, she she led on us. She like everything she reads. She like like come on, we, we having a family moment. <laughs> like, so is she like an overthinker? <laughs> a way over. I'm like that too. Way I over. Am. Oh, I overanalyze. Um, I'm a cancer. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm a cancer. Um, I was told I may be an empath. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit that I'm gullible. Um, I pray to God about that. <laughs> I'm very honest. Like but that's you're so conscious. I don't think you should be so gullible, but you're very conscious. You'll be surprised. However, when it matters, it's like you know what I'm saying. So sometimes I turn you, it on. So, let me, so you'll let temptation take you out of that headspace. Sometimes it depends on the situation. <laughs> It depends on the situation. I, I'm going to be very honest. Like, uh, perfect example, you know, everybody is on this stand on business thing, right? <laughs> right. We ain't taking no fuck, boys. If you ain't doing this, if you ain't, nope, 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 nope. I ain't dealing with it, mm -hmm. right? But right. you know what that does? What? It leaves you lonely because you're standing on business. So you're like, no, I'm not talking to him no more because he don't do that because he... Do X, Y, Z. I ain't talking to him no more. I ain't fucking oh, him no more. Ask, since you're doing saying on that topic, so when y'all women have a long list of things, knows. I understand, but oh, what, what but, I'm saying is, all I'm saying is we stand on business, mm -hmm. right? And you're missing blessings. That's what you're saying. I ain't going to even say blessing. <laughs> we missing out on, on stress relievers. <laughs> I, but, uh, women say I'm staying a business they still be doing that they so like that's because well, see I took it literal yeah no, but no but they stand on business at the same time when they standing on business they ain't say they ain't say don't give no like some because whatever you say I guess I don't care whatever your perception of standing yeah, what, on like business what is. yeah whatever I don't care what the business is, you have needs at the end of the day because it's always that person even standing on business gonna have somebody to handle her business. I understand. It be that one. It be that one guy. Cause like, like you see, guys is always complaining about. She's talking about pay this. You see, talking about pay this. She don't like you, bro. I ain't. <laughs> she don't like you, bro. God, like I, when when a person fall in love with you, they really they accept more. Yeah, they accept they don't some care of those about things. You can that shit be going out. That fifty fifty. All that shit be going out the window once you fall in love with that person. That's gone out the window. But I want to answer your question though. When right. you asked about, you know. When you said about um oh the um getting the needs fit, um met right right so standing on business right right I ain't talking to him 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 it be that one night that yeah, but you going to a Pacific nigga though I know see that's what I'm but saying but either way. The, 
it's a bad nigga. It ain't a nigga you need to be messing with. It's a toxic nigga. Cause if he wasn't, you wouldn't have to stand on business. <laughs> but we that's what what God's saying. That's what we say. Why do it when y'all give in anyway? Then y'all come up to to the public acting like you ain't doing it though. I ain't no. What I'm saying, no good niggas is getting played. I agree. No good niggas, cheap niggas, niggas that that, that, that they ain't about sh- is getting played. You know why? And guess what? He doing it to the quality women. Mm-hmm. So you know how? Why? Is, why? Because <laughs> we stand on business. And Satan get in our head and they and he be like, girl, you know you want to fuck. Like, <laughs> go on and call him. Go on and call him. But how nah, this nigga going to fuck my head up. Go on and call him. But you still, the temptation over. It, at that point, you really want to do it anyway. <laughs> Go get you some batteries and stand on business. Come on, that ain't. So let's do this. Get a t-shirt and say, let's stand on batteries. <laughs> let's stand on. I would never buy that t-shirt. I'm that, sorry. Stand I on would... batteries. Uh-uh. They're going to help you stand on business. They're going to help you stand on you business. You know, I, I agree. I agree. But at the end of the day, I'm sorry. See, some it's of y'all, not see, the same. It's just that's not the, the same. That's because you like the heartbeat. What they call it. What they call it. Yeah, they call it the heartbeat. You like a heartbeat. The whole, the whole holding and all that probably stuff too. Some people just don't want to get one just laid out by themselves. Like, oh, geez, I did myself it. But <laughs> like the, the touch of a man, all that of a man. Of course. So that's a lot of time why they, they, they ain't standing on business. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get me. Yeah, some that's why I said like we stand on business and then. A month turn into six months and two years, you still standing on business. Man, let me call this dude right now. Let me go on the text. Don't him. don't call. <laughs> don't call. See, and that's why men do what they do. I understand. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's I'm agreeing do with you. Yeah, that's what they I'm do what they do. With because you. Somebody giving in. So when women take a stand, they got y'all got to stand together for real to make it make sense. <laughs> to make it work. To make it work. That's like if you want to shut the world down, you, you stop every. Transport that transport gas. Everybody got to drive to work. Everybody, if you shut down the gas trucks, the world gonna stop moving. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so if I get it. The but gas I'm, truck is y'all over <laughs> you I, shut I, that I, All I all I can say is, after a month turn into six months. And six months turn into two years. You be you like, hey, pre- are you, that are no you still preaching standing on business though? After you, you ain't gonna tell your girls that. <laughs> you gonna tell your girls what you doing, even though they probably doing the same thing you doing. I'm like, girl, you tripping? They might be doing the same exact thing. Y'all give in, dog. I mean, because all dudes saying uh, every dude feel like he can get any woman he want to. It's just if you patient. That's why you got them dudes still in inbox because if you patient, so I'm like, let me see what it. Let me get this guy a chance. He's consistent, and they and they stay like that. So and once the women start eating up on that. Hey, y'all get y'all already can get what y'all want already, but y'all really can be efficient if if y'all do that. So if it really is that simple, that easy, why when after we finally get y'all a chance, y'all go left? Because it wasn't the point of being with you; it was the experience. I they, see. You. So they got their experience because a lot of dudes go, especially if you a married one. You was married. They at you. They don't care if you married or not. Yeah, that's they don't because yeah. they don't know how to. They don't know your upkeep. They don't know your beat. They don't. They don't know nothing about you. How much you get your. They don't care. They want that experience. Now, just to even get that experience, you got some guys that have put out their money. Mm-hmm. They go see. You got to pay the ride. You got to pay the play. Even though it's that one time, because some be like, oh, he paying this. He, he may have. Because some guys going just for that experience. Yeah, I pay for this. I got you. Yeah. But after you get experience, like, okay, that was cool, that was cool, that was cool. But you know what? I don't like her attitude for real. <laughs> I don't like this about her for real. But you got your experience, so you good. That's why when a girl's like, you ain't this, you ain't that, I still fuck. That's what he going to you. And you know what? <laughs> a guy actually told me this. He told me, I said, you know, why do guys do this, right? I said, why do guys, you know, hype us up and – you know, have us thinking that we're so special and, you know, that you really care about us and you want to know about our interests. You know, some guys, they really go all in, right? right? He said it's just to get y'all to file for us. 
Yeah, you just so we can get what we want. I'll tell you that guy that ain't doing all of that will be better for you. It's a guy that just that y'all don't pay attention to. I I was just about to say that because the good girl don't want the good guy because that shit is boring. Boring. We don't want boring. We as much as we say I don't want drama. I don't want drama. That normal is boring. I've had that I said, before. I said, I said that before. I said that before on the show. I say, my normal is boring. My normal. But y'all don't see all the... Well, I'm just saying, if, if, shouldn't, a, shouldn't a normal be like, that's what I want? That's what I want. But that would, but it's not... You don't see... I don't I don't know. Because even that normal dude, he still gifts. He still... Sh- like, he still does these things. But there's nothing. There's no excitement. No... So what do you want? You you say I'm looking for this. You never say when you say you do. You never say excitement though. It's a visual. You searching for that visual because you never heard no woman say. No, I wanna, no, no, I, no, like, no. I want to go on trips because you ain't say it's exciting trips. You, I want to do this. I want to do that because I can go to all those places and still be humble and laid back. Because you see older cats, his wife just dragging him around. <laughs> yeah, him the, his wife just dragging him around. He's not fun. His wife fun. <laughs> his wife is fun. That don't but he just he doing everything his wife need. Wife, and but see that's different. He wants to do what she wants to do, even if he's not it's exciting. not his thing. But he's not exciting. He's being drug along. He just want to make her happy. It's a lot of dudes just like they like what they like, and that's what women don't like. Because <laughs> she wants you to like what she likes. Y'all do. If we don't like trips, you y'all will tell us what's so good about a trip. <laughs> we don't like what you like. I'm you gonna tell us what's good about it. Concerts. I, yeah. I like going. Yeah, yeah. You gonna tell you gonna tell him that, right? Even though yeah. he's like, I don't really like. He's like, I really. This is what concerts do for me. You gonna explain it? He gonna it's, like. It's music, baby. He gonna tell you. He gonna like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. then, then you gonna kind of. So you swam over that way. So we just follow what y'all follow. Yeah. Just to make y'all happy. In his head, he want to be at the house. Clicking on the TV, <laughs> like watching some football. But this is what she wanted to do. Let me make her happy. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that y'all do that we just falling along, trying to make y'all happy. And at the same time, we re, we actually boring. A lot of do it's a lot of dudes boring more because he just he just trying to please his woman. It's a lot of boring dudes. When we we having a guy talk we're like, but I gotta take this girl over. <laughs> I gotta take her as she want to do, it, man. Well, how much that cost? Man, that shit costs, and we, that's the conversation mm-hmm. we have having. But guess what? He's doing it because he wants, wants, to, wants to please her, wants to make her happy. And, you know, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth it because at the end of the day, that's what you're trying to do. I'm, I'm, I'm being a provider. We're not complaining about the money. We're complaining about I got to leave the house. I got to leave my no comfort. Well. Yeah. I got to leave my comfort zone. So that's what we be complaining about. So. That's that's one one perspective um yeah the guys i meet they ain't they ain't about that trying to settle down be boring just me you say they boring you say they boring they're not about that well you like the action pack guy you like Blake. i do like the action pack guy but what i'm saying is what i want is not what i'm meeting so at my big age, right. <laughs> you know, it's like sleeping around, one night stands, like cut buddies, like I'm tired of that. Oh, we just had, you know what I'm saying? Like it, I'm too old for that. Yeah, at I this want, age, I want something. What's the point? What? Are, what? Are, and I mean, TMI, but as a woman, like if you majority of the time you have sex with a new person. Now you got BV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll is it even it worth it? Like, you ain't even hey. somebody I'm going to talk to tomorrow. You ain't going to even I, ask me, hey, babe, did you go get your just, prescription pill? I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know if you just seen that clip I showed. I don't like, because I don't care what work you put in. You can put, I need a faithful man. I need, okay, you find that faithful man. I said, y'all do not still go get tested. Why? Y'all I saw vibing. that. I saw but that. Y'all just vibing. You just vibe. Oh, he this, he this. He can be everything that you, that don't mean he ain't going to give you nothing. You right. So why we have we stopped doing that? You know what? It's, it's very, very, very interesting you said that. My mother passed away from AIDS, right? Right. Passed away from AIDS. At the time, I was like, damn, 
you know, like, that shit ain't real. People they ain't really die from AIDS, right? But when it hit, it hit home, yeah. right? Mentally, it did make me, you know, I was careful for a while. Uh -huh. You know, I was like, I got to use condoms. got to use right. condoms, you, you know. But I'm going to be honest. After a while, you know, I was just right. like, it is now, what now, it is. Now, 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 now you, you, fuck, you smashing off a vibe. It's just a vibe, a good time, okay? Because other than that, you will be more cautious. Yeah. You're going to be more cautious. So I don't understand. And the crazy thing is, every guy that, like, even I would tell my sons, my nephews, that we had this conversation with them. And most of my nephews, like, to have them telling me to take, don't don't put it in. put Don't put it on. <sighs> and I'm the uncle saying, boy, put it on anyway. Yeah. She's talking about she want me to go. I said, so now it used to be, well, I like the women got to protect themselves. They, Y'all need to carry condoms also. I just don't know when it got to the point where we smashing all vibes and then we'll think about the consequences later. So our next topic, well, we actually already talked about it. We um we didn't address excuse me mental health when it pertains to relationships. Excuse me. And the thing that I want to say about that is, you know, you always ask me about my book. <laughs> yeah, I ask you about the book. And so the thing about the guy that I wrote the book about, there was a time in our relationship where, you know, he was like, you know, yeah, you know, I kind of think maybe there may be something there and maybe I should go talk to somebody. There was a, a, a very brief period where he, he acted that way, you know, like, okay, maybe I do have an issue. That very quickly flipped to a raise you're the problem. I'm not the problem. You're the problem. Even if he caused the problem, still you the problem. It's your you're the problem. So you're narcissistic? Was he narcissistic? He's a narcissist that I mean, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist, but I very, 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 very strongly believe that he has BPD, which is borderline personality disorder. They and he is juvenile. He is a Gemini as well, but um, I really feel like um, <laughs> I I really I feel like his BPD manifested as um narcissism, but of course I didn't understand this at the time. But now that I have studied mm -hmm. um mental health and stuff. Everything that we went through in that relationship, everything that he did to me, right? You know. So since you've been like that, you only had one. One what relationship? A serious relationship. Okay. I've had like I've dated. Um, yeah, I've dated, <laughs> but you know I haven't had a serious relationship since since I'm. I did date this one guy last year, but it wasn't like it wasn't serious. That wasn't serious. Mm, nah. So he he blanked it on you too. No, that that situation was fine, but with him, like I said, I mean it's like because I also have BPD, mm -hmm. and you know it's possible that maybe I was either in denial or ignorant which is the word we use when you don't have knowledge right because i was not as knowledgeable about bpd and the side i mean how that manifests is manifests itself in the actions right i said all that to say say we got into an argument not even an argument right right you know a normal couple you know okay damn she pissed me off, but you know we all right. It, right. You know you still want to go eat. Let's yeah, go eat, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. When we, when he would get mad at me, it would be like days he wouldn't talk to me. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a victim. I, I, I'm not a victim. I, I'm. You have done, done that. that. I've done that. Yeah, that's 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 that's. You say with Gemini, right? He's a Gemini. That's not too. I don't know, like I just I'm 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 pissed off. 
this your this your this I'm finna get your you punishment. Your punishment. Right. But see, I'm not a Gemini and I do that too. So again, this goes back to now that I'm aware of what he was doing, I'm like, dang, I've done that too. The weirdest thing, the way he acted towards me as a narcissist towards me, mm -hmm. the guy that I told you I dated last year, I felt like I was treating him the way my ex was treating, treating me. But the difference is I have a heart, you know, I got a conscience, I care, I don't want to hurt nobody, you know, but... Now that, you know, when I look back on the situation, I'm like, you know, some of it, yeah, he was an asshole. Yeah, he was a narcissist. But some of it really was mental shit that he just couldn't control. Right. You know, to some people, myself, people, mm -hmm. it's just like a simple, something simple. Right. right, that a normal person would be like, okay, that ain't nothing. You know, like, damn, that that's fucked up, but you let it go. You don't stress about it. In my world, the smallest thing can be this huge thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, like, magnified in my mind. Like, there is oh, no... Does that, does that work with sadness? You're sad, like, you, when you're down, how do you, like, how long is you, like, is... Everything's magnified, right? Uh-huh. Is that with everything, though? Mm hmm Emotion, sadness. Everything. So does it take you a while to get over things, too? Again, this, this goes to spiritual warfare. Mm hmm You know, and the fact that I said I was allowing Satan to get into my head and play these mind games against me because I wasn't aware. I was ignorant. But now that I am aware, I can say... That was Satan right. that did that. You bullshitting, that was Satan. Damn, that was Satan too. You know, when when you really start See, thinking I'm about it. People in your condition, you think he, he try to get at y'all more? Of course. And the thing about it, I mean, more than anything, we all know this. Satan wants souls. Like, he don't give a fuck about us. I really think he try somebody that has a weaker vision. Oh, but that's what I'm about to say. Right. He don't give a fuck about us. We're random people. He make it seem like, oh, I care about you and I want you so bad. I'm going to do good by you. But we know better. Right. You know, so when I have my down moments, when the depression gets really bad, when I get the suicidal thoughts, suicidal ideations, you know, when I get those moments, I always tell myself now, it's just Satan. Right. But actually, on Thanksgiving last year. I, I seen you post something like that on TikTok. Yeah, I ended up in the mental hospital. And the reason why I went to the mental hospital, um, I was on a new medicine. And it this has actually happened in the past. I had a bad reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And the bad reaction was suicidal thoughts, suicidal ideation, suicidal like plans like you know what right. i'm saying like on thanksgiving it was like very 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 intense like to the point that in my mind i had accepted like i'm gonna leave so the earth can, today. so you can basically feel that when it's coming on you try to mm -hmm. ra railroad it so what i did was i said Riz, like are you realizing what's going on right now like you are in your mind, you have accepted that your life is going to end today. Like, you just going to get your soul to Satan. Right. And it's like instantly, I was like, oh, yeah, Satan can't have my soul. Let me get up. But because the medicine had altered my mind, you know, had me feeling that way, I went to the hospital. So it wasn't like I was suicidal, wanted to end my life, but it was a side effect from the medicine. Right. And that's why I went to the hospital. But in my mind, that was me saving my life and fighting for my life because I wasn't going to give Satan my soul. So how soul. often do you have those thoughts without medication? What I've learned is that it's called seasonal depression. When oh. the season changes towards the end of the year. When I it's, heard that before. When it's not, when, you know, daylight savings time in, it's more darkness, you know, 
you're supposed to be around your family because it's the holidays and all that, and I'm not. <laughs> and, you know, Satan preys on stuff like that. You know, when you're lonely, you know, it's like, <sighs> it's so crazy because once I finally realized it, it's like I say it to everything now, like, mm -hmm. that's just Satan. That's just Satan. I, I, do, I do that too. Yeah. I do that too because you're like, I, I need to say it too. Like, boy, you know that's the devil. Yeah. I got I got to say it, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I know I won't be thinking about this. I won't be acting like this. Mm -hmm. and, th and then then those thoughts come out of nowhere. When yeah. I, like, where the fuck that come from? That ain't, you already should know that. You should know that. Yeah. And, you know, people always say, you know, when you're trying to get closer to God, that's when Satan comes really at you. To work. He really go, he go to work on you then. I'm he trying go to, to he, go, he goes to work then, but it seems like, and he's trying to, Push you off course and not get that blessing that's that's waiting for you and everything. Yeah. So. That's one of the things my mama told me a long time ago. She was like, you know, that's why Satan always come at you so hard because, you know, he knows that God is going to bless you. God has his blessing yeah. for you, and he just doesn't want you to have I seen, it. I, I seen it happen. I'm talking yeah. about, I, seen, I seen when I've been tested. Me and my family have been tested, and we pushed through it, and I'm talking about instant blessing. You're like, okay. Because a lot of times things happen and it gets you down. It gets you down. It looks bad. All that stuff do not be, like, some of it is being in character and getting you ready for what's around the corner. Yeah, so yeah. Some people don't, they're like, oh, I'm done. No, no. It, it, when I say it always can be worse, it really can always be worse. People got to really, really think about that. Else it, it could be worse. You're absolutely right. Well, let me ask you, so, like, do you like how often do you like the suicidal thoughts come? Like again, it's that seasonal. It's always, it's always that, that, like end of the that year. That end of the year. So if you type. know, if, so if you know that, so now you, I'm aware of it. Now, okay, 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 okay. So you are. So you something like you. Why would you schedule that? Well, around this time, I need to be around family. Mm -hmm. and this. Well, I mean, that's not an option for me. But I mean, there are other things I can do. You well, know. well, Florida, yeah. <laughs> Go to a, um, a museum or uh, I don't know the what beach. you like. The beach is my place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So what advice would you give somebody that's in your same position or don't know they're in that position yet? Um, the thing about it, <clears throat> I mean, I don't care who you are. Every single person, there's something that's off. I, I agree. You know, people, we, we don't want to admit it. Or we'll say, oh, that's just that. Oh, he just act like that. That's just his ways. Or, you mm -hmm. know, it, nah. You know? Be like, I swear, I swear you ain't lying. It's like, it's always, they try to throw it off. Well, they, they avoid that. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what street niggas, though. Street niggas be doing, they own that same shit what you're saying. They deny that, right? They mm -hmm. deny it. Let them get in some trouble. <laughs> they always want to claim this. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, let them get in some trouble. Oh, now nah, it's real now. That you, I'm telling you, yeah. when, I, I got, I have, I, I hate, hate my family always in this conversation, but I have a cousin that's right. Oh, oh, he ain't crazy to like until it's court time. <laughs> it's court time now. He acting a fool. He act, he acts a fool because mm. it, it, it's really him though. It's really him. But street, nah, ain't nothing wrong with him. What is wrong with me? But just to listen to them charge, you'll claim it. <laughs> you gonna claim it then. I'm telling you, boy, they're gonna use anything to their advantage. But I, I think it's a difficult thing. Like how how do you go by with work? So I have bipolar two, which feels like it has transitioned to bipolar one. I didn't even know that was possible. So, so it's getting, what is it, when you go one, you When you go better. from two, two is like the milder version. Mm -hmm. And lately I've been feeling a lot one-ish. <laughs> a lot of bipolar one-ish. Anything is tricky. So, okay, let me tell you, let me give you more examples. There's this thing called mania with bipolar. Mm -hmm. And I mean, with bipolar, you're either high or low, right? Right. So when you're high, you're manic. And you do things like gamble, spend money, r have sex oh, with random it. people, like all these different kind of things, right? But you don't oh, realize man. it because you're high, you're having fun, like oh. you're in the moment. It's not until something happens and you crash into a depression that you look back and you say, 
Damn, I was manic. Man, like, you said something deep right there, now. <laughs> I swear you just said something yeah. deep right there. I, Mania, I, it's, it's really, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's one of them things that people don't really think about. Well, you know, but you really educated me right now. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's what I want to do. I I want to bring awareness of mental health, mental illness to the black community. So as you and as, educate people. So so once it happened, you start doing your work on everything because you already know you be you research a lot. Mm -hmm. You research a lot, so you just start doing your work research on it because you. I know you just ain't listen to a doctor and you be like, get, cause they don't they don't give you the full everything. Woke versus crazy. <laughs> you're, so, de you're definitely woke. Check this out. I finally realized, <laughs> as much as I love the VA, this is no shade against the VA, but it's shade. The VA does not care about making me better. Mm-hmm. I I mean the medical industry they are not in it no. to make us better. No, they're not. You know, there is a test. It's so weird. This just happened this week. It's called a phaser panel. Uh -huh. And when you take this test, they supposed to be able to tell you what medicine will work for you and ones you need to stay away from, right? Uh -huh. I got diagnosed with my mental disorders back in 2011, right? At this point, I've been in the hospital three times. I've had bad reactions. I've had, you know, all kind of crazy stuff happen. Why was this test never done on me? The VA did not bring this to my attention. Well, I would take, I'm going to take that back. A nurse that works at the VA told me this. But, you know, the first thing she said, what I'm not supposed to tell, tell you this. this. I swear they be doing that. I'm not she supposed said, to tell I'm you this. I'm not supposed to tell I, you I, this. My doctor do that, and I love that he do that. Yeah. She said, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but in your situation, in your case, there you would benefit from doing this test because it'll – what's the point? Like, okay, the last medicine they put me on, Depakote, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, supposed to be a mood stabilizer. It's supposed to help with mania and all that or whatever. Personally, I don't feel like it worked. I feel like, first of all, I gained 20 pounds. <laughs> that some of that stuff actually make you eat more? Oh, a lot. If you know it, people that live with mental disorders and actually take medicine, like your weight, that's, I mean, that's why my weight always goes up and down because uh -huh. medication. Right. So, yeah, I gained 20 pounds. I felt like my depression got worse. I felt I felt like everything got worse. I felt like my ADHD got worse. I felt like my OCD, like, it was during this time period that I even said, damn, maybe I had OCD. Mm -hmm. Like, I never thought I had OCD until I started taking that medicine. And that's why, again, like I said, my, it, my diagnosis is bipolar, too. But the way it's been going, it's been looking real bipolar one-ish. <laughs> you said one-ish? Yeah. It's just like you don't have much control. So let me ask you this. With that, and you be driving. Do you have any thoughts while you're on the drive, when you're driving? I have random thoughts all the time, intrusive thoughts. And, you know, I personally did not even know that was a thing. I just knew I would get these weird, random, and a lot of times they were very inappropriate mm -hmm. <laughs> thoughts. And I never talked told anybody about it until I heard some. I watched the video, mm -hmm. and it's intrusive thinking. Oh, you know whatever. And I was just like, oh wow. But I mean, I get weird, random thoughts all the time. Yeah. Most of the time, you know, I can say. Okay, we we not doing that. Do you entertain yourself mentally? All the time. So you really, really, you don't need nobody. <laughs> you know that TikTok where they be like, I bet you be bored while you home by yourself. You don't. And you be dancing, cooking. I, you know I got my kitten. Right. I told playing you. with her. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask. You ever thought about becoming an herbalist? I wanted to. Okay, go with me. I am, I'll be 43 this year, right? You're going to be 43? What, when? July. I mean, you're right. We say age. Yeah. I've been on some form of mental health medicine since at least 2011. 
2011. That's what, 12, 13 years? You'll be afraid to be an herbalist when you It's not that I'm afraid, but when I say it, that's why I say go with me. Like, you know the what Le left I did when she went away and, yeah. you know, she was in the jungle and she did the herbs. Because I feel like it would take that kind of detox to get, you know, because I've been taking medicine for so many years. I feel like it would take something like that for or me to. If, if you got a strong village yourself, too. I feel like if you had a boyfriend and understand all of that. And he can help you go through it. And then like, no, we better back up. We got to back up. Like, yeah. you had a support system so that if anything happens, you had that person by your side. But I know you're talking about, well, it, it'll take some major because your body done got used to what been, yeah. been yeah. given. That, that's the best way I can explain it. But I would love to, um, I have started taking, it's called Rodilia. And it's supposed to help with, like, memory and focus. And I mean, it seemed like it's been working. Like Astral Gonda or anything like that. Um, I have the little blue things, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I do look into the natural approach. But going back to the VA, because I was looking at one of your video, and I was, I, that was what I thought. Why don't you just just get your herbalist book, become an herbalist, or or do your because. Look like you be doing some deep dives. <laughs> I tell you, I'm a nerd. I yeah, really like am you, a nerd. You be doing some, you be doing some deep diving, so and I, I'm an overthinker. <laughs> so, what like for the younger generation? What would you like to tell them? Well, you know, I feel like the younger generation they're a little more open to their mental health. Man. I feel like it wasn't, I don't feel like it was our generation. I feel like it was the generation under us that came up with that mental health day. Oh, you know? I, I think so too. Yeah, I don't think that was our thing. I mean, I'm grateful for it. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the one good thing about the VA, they're very big on mental health. Like, take care of yourself. If you need time off, whatever. That's dope. But, yeah, I, I feel like they're more woke when it comes to mental health. They're more open and accepting, accepting of mental health and mental illness you know they always say the generation under us you know they're a little more open yeah. to things than we were like how we're sitting here talking about growing up we didn't talk about mental health in our family At growing all. up but the generation under us man i'm depressed that's your don't know so. i think some of you using it too i think some of you milk it too just to use it like I, but I, guess I ain't what going, i ain't going to school today i don't want to be around people i just I mean, I think some of, personality. I know there's some, but some of them, the fact that we we some of it's true, but some of them are using it. Yes, but think back. I, this was like back in the day, you know, the nine year old that committed suicide. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I, well, that way, I, I'm glad they can like speak their, their the, the the next generation is speaking their mind because that awake us up. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you might be a problem. I might have to, I might have to pay a little more attention, and you know what I'm saying. It's gonna wake you up. Well, I want to ask you this: as a content creator, what kicks you in your butt? <laughs> <laughs> that little when you look on that um, YouTube studio page and you look at how much money you'd have made from one video. <laughs> Are you monetized already? I am, but it's it's barely. You got a story. I get more sports. more income from sponsorship than YouTube itself. You don't, you don't you don't do shorts, do you? I just started doing that. You remember we were talking? Well, um, I watched the video that when the girl was talking about, you know, don't try to be on every yeah every platform. You know, pick one and focus on that one. So. I've noticed recently because them little shorts, they pick up. Yeah, they pick up. And, you know, I've been going to a lot of concerts. So, you know, I've been posting, you know, clips from the concert. Right. You know, those are the views are getting up. People love animals. They love kittens. Love animals. I post shorts about her. You know, those get views. So do you have, how often do you get, like, inspirational messages? Like somebody you, you helped me with, you, you know? 
let me tell you what happened. This this one of my one of my girls I met, um I was hiding well, I ain't gonna say hiding, but hiding. I was away from social media. Uh -huh. She sent me a message on Instagram and she was like, Hey, just thinking about you. You know, excuse me. And I was just like, Oh, that was so sweet. Excuse me. However, another girl reached out to me. And we set up like a brunch date. I think it's coming up. But anyway, when she came by and we talked, she said, I actually reached out to you because I hadn't heard from you. Right. She was like, you know, I know you do your mental health content and I know, you know, you be going through things. And she was like, I saw you had been had not been posting. I like stuff like that. Yeah. And I mean, that really made me. Yeah. Feel yeah. I, I like stuff like that. That make you keep going. Yeah. If, when if, when we start the podcast, because we was getting deemed with, because my the first podcast was sip, smoke, and shoot, so they kept saying I was promoting the alcohol. Oh yeah. So I kept getting deemed, and they're like, "What is going on?" So this, you telling people to smoke, you telling people to sip, like you promoting those drinks. And then I looked at it, I was because every because you see all these bottles. Yeah. Every time I bought a new bottle, I will drink it and we'll tell you, "Hey man, y'all should try this." We tell them it's smooth and stuff like that. We pretty pretty much giving them. The rundown on what is mixed with it and everything. That's what we was doing before we start the podcast. Because I thought it was dope. Uh, the algorithms didn't think it was dope. <laughs> they didn't think it was dope. But the fact that I slowed down and stopped, people start asking, like, man, what happened? What happened? Like, I, I like these topics. Man, I like when you did this I like this. Like, sometimes you don't think people are watching and, and really, like, investing in, you, in mm -hmm. your show like they is until you stop. So that will give you that boost. Let me get my ass back up. Cause yeah, that's one person. That can that it's a lot of people like that person. I need to reach people just like that person. Yeah. So you you get a lot of those people. You are gonna have your good set of people. Cause even cause those people when you create an organic, um, following, following, they accept those are people you. That's yeah, yeah. Gonna be like there you can put a, yeah, you can put out a bad video with those people. And they still going, right. okay, we, what's really going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. your best you, work. Yeah. We watched it because yeah. we support you. Yeah, yeah those people are still going to continue to watch. Now, if you cre create an organic fan base, you're going to be smooth. If they, and then those ones that talk, like, I had one say, hey, bro, you got to do something about that sound. Because I kept, because I, you see I got a new sound. Board. Like, I was trying to just figure everything out. Everything out. And it was not going to plan. But those people, even the information they gave me helped me out. But you know what is uh, like you say, trying to figure out what really gets out there, what works out there. I started my channel based on natural hair when I um went natural, like so. Even though <laughs> I started my channel back in twenty ten, you know, I when I post content about my natural hair. Even to this day, that's more of the content that gets the most views mm -hmm. or whatever. However, because I post mental health content, you know, I have a sponsorship with a mental health company. That's good. The mental health posts don't get as many views and stuff, but it doesn't matter. You know, you upheld your end of the bargain. So even if the video got 20 views, they going to pay you whatever they told you they was going to pay you. Right, right. So that's why I that's say the money come on. from sponsorships, not necessarily YouTube because... Like I say, it's monetized, but <laughs> well, it's still so you got something out of that though. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's it's I'm great. I'm grateful so, for it. Oh, so, so so we got a couple more minutes left. I want to get on you about your book. <laughs> okay. Why you ain't put your book on TikTok? Why you ain't you ain't did none of that? <laughs> because you, you ran out of copies. No. So like like just get it going like. <laughs> You just set it up on TikTok shop and, and move on to that next book or new, move on to that next project. Or the ne next project. Yeah. The next project. <laughs> um, You know, a lot of people don't know this about my book, but my ex, he actually bought the book. I don't think he read it, but he did buy it. And supportive. Yeah. He get this thing. He don't even know he in it. <laughs> He knows the book is about him, but um, yeah, he hasn't read it. And Are with him, cool? are y'all cool? <laughs> Not yeah. really. You gotta think about it. Let we. Me, he might have read it then if y'all ain't cool. No, I don't think it's that. I. <clears throat> I 
tell you what it is because I do it too. <laughs> he lives in an imaginary world. Yeah. And in his imaginary world, I'm supposed to be this perfect person, right? Mm -hmm. His perception is his reality. So his imaginary world is his perception, which is his reality. Aurelius is supposed to be perfect. Aurelius is not perfect. Aurelius is socially awkward. Right. She says the wrong wrong thing at the wrong time. You know, she does weird things. She, she's just weird, right? <laughs> So if when Aurelia says something like she said the wrong thing and it embarrassed him, mm -hmm. why are you why I mean you you literally you can't handle that because in your mind I'm supposed to be perfect. perfect. Yeah. Like what is going on over here? And it's like he can't handle that because his perception is not what reality yeah. is. And it's like, it's it's crazy because you know how people be like, you know, I'm cool with all my exes. I don't want to date them again, but, you, cool you know, <laughs> some of them, not all of them, some of them. <laughs> some of them. But believe it or not, it's crazy. My second ex-husband. How many my, times you been married? Twice. Twice. My second ex-husband is my best friend. He understands you, don't he? He does. He's been around for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, probably, he understand you. He un that's what it is. Yeah, probably still in love too. I not, mean, not like you know what I'm saying. We still got a lot of love for you too. Yeah, I'd be like that. Okay, that's dope though. Yeah. So, so we just need to go further. Is please do something about the book. I will. I will because, like I told you, I actually want to do a follow up project to mm. find out what happened next. Because everybody said, okay, Riz, you wrote the book, and it just ended. You moved to Atlanta. What happened next? Right? So, you know, people have definitely said, what happens next? So, I feel like I owe that to them to be like, like okay, so what really happened was. <laughs> like I said, you should, and you should promote the, you should promote the book, those, those juicy parts of the book. And, hey, buy the book. By the book, you gotta promote those 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 juicy parts of it. Yeah, I know, I know. Again, you uh, know, hold on, hold on. You no, no, no. I, it's not an excuse, and that is not an excuse. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm very honest. I told you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like as a content creator, right? Right. I tell people things about me, right? I make myself vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't always feel good. I. It's like it's so weird. Sometimes when I talk about myself and my personal issues, I get anxiety. Like, I physically get anxiety, right? And it's just like, mm. I don't know. When I'm talking about myself and putting myself out there, and it's just kind of like. So when you when you let me so since you was like that so once you create a, a video or something it take you a long time to pick that 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 button upload yeah like should I should I should I okay yeah. again because I'm finally at that place where I'm comfortable with myself and I have accepted myself mm -hmm. I put it out there I put it out there. Because at the end of the day, even if it takes 10 videos mm -hmm. before one person says, thank you, it's coming. I support, thank you I support your coming. page. I, put, I support Yeah, you. yeah. I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying, though. Like, you know, if, say, I post five, five videos that uh -huh. don't get many views, don't get many comments, but then on that sixth video... Yeah. Somebody finally said, you know, I've been watching your videos. They really been helping me. Like, I'm telling you, that's, that's how it happens. It always happens like that. It just takes, and it, it'll take off. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you got a big, yo, I got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. I feel like you got a bigger story than me, though. It's, <laughs> just how, it's how you, it's how you, it's how you narrating your story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and when you, you feel like it's social awkward, but like, People are. There's a couple of people looking, and the reason why you're not a, you're not available enough. That's why I tell you, go like live is the thing to do. If you see mm -hmm. people like streaming is a thing now, 
I, you think you need to tap in with that. Okay. You don't have a bad personality. You have a cool personality. You seem like you easy to get a, get along with. You feel what I'm saying? I consider myself. Okay, that. So you so like that is a thing. Like you can open people that are exactly like you and give them that bravery. Like okay, she stepped up. Let me step up. Mm-hmm. So you you people don't know you don't know who you inspire. You already doing the brave thing now. You network. I mean, the first time you I remember uh, God bless the bed when um. Randy, you was with Randy on the live with Randy. Y'all was talking, y'all going on, going on and on, <laughs> promoting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that like, was so funny. That night was so funny. So like that, like and like anytime you want to do some more stuff, you open to come on here and talk about the next book and nothing project. I'm and I'm opening myself. If you need process, like need to learn anything that I'm doing, I'm okay with it. Because well, definitely- nobody sat down with me, and I just sat there and looked at. Screen all day, just figuring out, fig, figuring out, and it's a task. But what I learned how to do, I learned how to do it the easy way. Learn how to do it in the like the big. I don't. I take the big terms out because that kill you. That could like it kills you from editing and stuff like that. People show you the hard. Oh, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I figured it out. <laughs> I figured out an easy way to do it, super easy. So, and I was telling you some things before we turned the camera on the same thing. So. I will if you need help on that part or need the information, I I put that out there, and and help also too. I appreciate that. Um, I mean the thing about it, I mean mental health, mental yeah, mental health is a huge part of me, mm. but that's not everything. You know, uh, my son actually said this to me. He said, you know, mom having a mental disorder doesn't make you special. You know. He said, you don't want to be famous for having a mental disorder, right? I was like, yeah, I don't want to be famous just for having a mental disorder. It ain't about famous. But what he was saying was, what he was saying was, don't let that define you. Like, do other things, too. So I I said all that to say, fashion is my first love. Like, fashion and natural hair. Uh Uh-huh. So, you know, that's why I, I love to post my little outfits and I try to make my little skits. But you know what I found out? Right because people don't know this side of me, they take me literal. Like, at one point, I was making videos about a toxic dude, right? Uh-huh. And what my son... <laughs> Would you getting views off that though? Yeah, but my son, um, he like he actually thought like I was really tripping on a nigga. Like he really thought, you know, he was like, "Mom, you you up here acting all crazy over this dude," and then I was like, "There is no dude. Like it's ah. a joke. Like it's just it's just a skit." But again, because people don't know this side of me, because mm-hmm. I was always afraid to show this side of me. You know, a lot of people are like. I mean, you was selling that that character. <laughs> yeah, you was, yeah, you was you was selling that character. He had like, were you tripping over nigga? Yeah, he, he sold that he character. Really, my son really. He said like, she really tripping over this nigga. <laughs> but again, people don't know that side of me, so you know they don't know either. Um, Do you want to hide that side? No, not anymore. Because you'd be like, oh, I'm socially awkward. And I'm telling you. No, I accepted that socially awkward. Now, the other day I made a post and I said, you ever like a song because you heard your crush singing it? And I was like, yeah, me neither. And then I was like, yeah, I was in the 10th grade, right? (laughs) And the song was Monifa Touch It. So I'm showing you my outfit, but I'm dancing to the song, right? Mm -hmm. It's so funny because so many people come in and, and like, a couple people were like, who is the dude? Who is the crush? <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. I mean, even though that I was like that true, so but, you know, I was kind of like, dang. Why does stuff pick up? Like, why stuff like that pick up like that, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, 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 if you go look at the algorithm, the relationship stuff, a toxic relationship or some relationship, that be leading to algorithms and stuff. Cause it, that's it, what people love. Yeah, people love Summer Walker. That girl got so much drama. Like she gonna always be popular and trending because people love drama. Blueface, <laughs> Krishan. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the main one that came to mind. But you know the problem with that. 
that's that's how people end up selling their soul because they be so desperate for that limelight that yeah. they'll do damn near anything. Yeah. Who was talking about that? They'll do anything for that line. Like, give me my couple thousand dollars. I'm good. Yeah. I don't even, even want to be rich. I want to be, I'm borderline. Let me be borderline. Let me not be stressing about no bills. You yeah. Know, you know me, you know. So we're going to end it out, but I want to know one thing. My brother here to say it. This is peace. What is your peace? What brings you peace? God brings me peace. The awareness, like, I'll put it like this. Are you familiar with um, the book of Acts? No, I'm not. I'm okay. Not. So, in the book of Acts, there was this guy named Paul, and he was persecuting Christians, right? Oh, yeah, that's my dog. So, that's, that's Paul, yeah, right? That's Paul. You said you should say Paul? Yeah, so <laughs> Paul, right? Um... Something happened. He found out, oh, there are Christians in Jerusalem, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to Jerusalem, right? Right. Along the road, God came to him and knocked him off the horse, and he became blind for like three days. And, you know, during that time, God worked on him, right? Right. And, you know, it's called the Damascus Road Experience. And after that time, he went to this guy, and this guy healed him. And all of a sudden, you know, he flipped and he, I love Jesus. I love God. You know, he was the one that wrote majority of the New Testament, right? right? So, you know, he went from being this person that persecuted Christians, Christians. to, you know, yeah. now he, he's like the forefather, right? Yeah. And he, it's because he had that Damascus Road experience. I consider... When I was in the hospital this last time, uh -huh. I consider that my Damascus Road experience because I'm not going to say I'm not crazy. I'm touched. <laughs> I know it's like, I think everybody... However, when you are in a mental hospital and you see real crazy. Oh, yeah. My brother told me that. That's what I'm saying. When you see real that. crazy. And in your mind, you like, wait a minute, um, I don't belong here. That's what he said. <laughs> and you tell them you want to go home, them motherfuckers give you a shot in the arm. Like, wait, this, this <laughs> shit happened on TV. This does not happen for real. Yeah, for real. In my mind, I was like, God, why in the world, why would I go through this? Like, I went to the hospital to get help, you know? Uh, my brother said they did that to him. And he said there was another dude over that scared the hell out of him. <laughs> he was a dude. I'm I can tell you some stuff. Now, yeah, that's for that. another conversation. But yeah, he said this. another dude was over that scared the hell out of him. He wanted to get out of there. I was like, ain't nothing wrong with me no more. <laughs> like, this dude tried to pimp me. I had a stalker. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Y'all got you. It's, I had this you be crazy. Oh my God! They put you in the room with anybody, so you like, what if this bitch wake up in the middle of the night and try to scrangle, like scrangle me? My roommate was this older woman. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna say her name. She either had onset dementia. She had something. Uh -huh. Her first night there. She kept taking stuff off of my off of my bed. She kept taking my blanket, my sheets. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what are you doing? Why are you taking my stuff? You know, they was like, give, you know, they would give me a new one, but like you can't be taking her stuff, right? It started out with little stuff like that. She started walking around taking her clothes off. She moved stuff from here to there. Like she just she How she, old was she? She was an older woman. How old though? Oh, she was probably like sixty something. Oh, you see some sixty old ass. Oh, you saw old people in the <laughs> hospital. I know that, but I don't want to see your butt naked. Put them pants on. When I tell you, the last straw, she drunk. She drank some hand sanitizer. What no? <laughs> but let me tell you the fucked up thing about it, because she was acting crazy. She was right. Mm -hmm. They tried to blame it on her drinking the hand sanitizer, not whatever medicine they had put her on. 
Man, get up. She was already acting like that. What you talking about? This lady, she... I'm telling you, the, She was all right after the hand sanitizer, right? They took her to the hospital, <laughs> but they brought her back. <laughs> they brought her back. <laughs> what she what she came back and said, what my goddamn cup and shit? This, was like, she this was woman, I'm telling hey, you. Hey, man, what my hand sanitizer? I'm finna finish that up. When I tell you, she was so funny. She was in denial that anything was wrong with her, but she started telling these stories. I was like, girl, ain't no way in the world is you did this and, and <laughs> they got some stories for you. You should listen to them. I listened to her. I, I did. I done heard some stories. It's it's just. And I guarantee you, I done heard. Not I done talked about two, three of them. I have never. I let them finish. <laughs> it is entertaining. I but let sometimes them they don't stop. But, no, some of them ain't gonna stop. That's some of them, after they they they. Gave me my shot in my arm and stuck me in the, the unit with the bad people. <laughs> you but you do you sleep well like that? I had to lock my door because I had a stalker. I had a stalker in in the mental hospital. I had a black, stalker. Black away. A black dude. He was the big dude. I figured, I, I, I you don't. I mean, is is was he autistic? You don't know what's wrong with him, but he was real nasty. And he was loose. He was loose in the building. Yeah, we right, exactly. ain't nobody locked up in the mental yeah. hospital. No, no, no. no. That big nigga loose. <laughs> he go. This dude, it's like he went take a bath. He went brush oh, his no. teeth, so he smelled real bad. Yeah. And where I fucked up at, Say, hey. I already knew he had this thing for me, and I said something to I him. I figured that shit. I said something to him. Who me? Oh, she like you know, you know, yeah. you know, oh man, he'll fuck that whole place up about you, probably. <laughs> he probably fuck that whole place up about you. Oh, that, oh, that wife right now. Yep, it's like he would just randomly walk in my room and stand up, not say nothing though. What you did? You grab anything? Yeah, like get the fuck out my room. Like I'm telling you, you you go from being scary to nigga, who is wrong with you? <laughs> like ain't nobody finna fuck with me. You switch it up real quick. You have to when you in a place like the mental hospital because it's just like being in normal. jail. You show any sign of weakness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Like, do you do when you in that environment? You realize how normal you are. Yes, but at the same time, I'm not gonna lie. I found myself saying, "These people get me." I found myself saying that. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I need to, it's time to go home now. <laughs> I done had my I had had my, my reality check. Let me just get get on the level head, yeah. Cause I don't know, because like a lot of people see you, they're not gonna believe that you're going through that. I know, um It just seemed like you it just seemed like you got a bubbly personality. <sighs> and you really don't see you at a down. Like, you know, I done seen people with depression videos, it'd be depressing. Mm-hmm. It be they down. I don't see one sitting in the rain. This is what I go through. Yours is not like that. So I'm gonna tell you what happens when a lot of times some people watch it, but it bothers me to see a person that's like that all the time because I feel like you down all the time. Like mm-hmm. that, that nobody that black, wants to be around. Yeah, that, that black cloud is over your head. And like okay, I, now if you were a homeless like that, I you know I give you some, but. I don't even want to hear your story because it seems like everything is sad. I don't like to be at a high point and then you tell me, because you know how people, It's going to bring down your it'll day. It'll bring my day down. And I was like, man, just, hey, they, get going to, hey, let me talk. No, please don't talk to me. <laughs> please don't talk to me. Take this money, please. <laughs> I don't yep. like to go get you something to eat, whatever you need. Just, I don't want to, no bad story. Now, if you want to tell me how, because I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of, you know, we feed the homeless and I, and I, and I hear these stories and. And, and a lot of those homeless people are, is there because of mental. Mm-hmm. But half of them is like it be half and half. Some people just I'm gonna say, some people are just lazy. Yeah. Some of them be okay, and then some of them cannot. They're they they're they don't know what's going on. Yeah. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on with themselves, mm-hmm. and they don't have a village to help them process it. Because guess what? They village probably don't understand either. All they, like they saying they just they don't right. know either. They don't pray, know. Pray, baby. Pray. Just pray. <laughs> you know, just tell them to pray. But it, it'd be a lot of them just be gone. It'd be a gone. And I don't think it's no coming back from it if you don't have the proper support. I mean, that's one of the most important things for people living with mental disorder is a support 
support system. Support system. Um, again, I I'm not gonna say I don't have no support. I'm not gonna say that. It's not the support I wish I had, but I can't say I don't have any support at all. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I do wish I had more? people that understood more or at least wanted to try to understand. Do people treat you different because of that? Of course. Why is it bad? Like, like, uh-uh. Let me tell you. Uh-uh, no, uh you can't come over here. Let me tell you. Like you say, you see me as a happy person, right? Mm -hmm. With a big personality, right? right? People would tell me, you know, race be yourself. And then when a race is herself, can't take oh, it. Oh, girl, calm down. Maybe they can't. They and know and they I'm, a, I'm, I'm being honest. That's the thing about mental illness. It's a lot. It's a, it's lot. a lot. You know, I. So, well, do, you, do, you, do you still. Okay, since you're saying that. Do you want to date still? Like, is of course. It, that's a hard process because you gotta because you that's like it ain't no fortune in it, right? Because of like dope boys come because that's my family. Never, women to deal with a lot because they know the bag there. Mm -hmm. But when you come and tell them I got this dude, people now nah, being a beautiful one because you're pretty. Some dude's gonna be signed up for it. I know where you like. We can with, with that experience, mm -hmm. like I was talking about that yeah. experience. But can they uh, can they take everything that come that you come with? You know, the first whenever, cause I always tell guys like, you know, I'm crazy, right? <laughs> when you just come out like I, that. I always say that up front, right? But you know what they always say because it never scares them off. They always say, "You ain't crazy. You just need to be loved. You just ain't been loved, right?" That's what they all say. All of them say that. That's what they There's all no say. No love in them. Mm -hmm. They say you ain't crazy. When I tell them, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you, my all my bad experiences came from, <laughs> I ain't going to say, but light-skinned girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say pretty girls. We are the ones that have the most baggage, the most issues, the lowest self-esteem, issues with confidence, daddy issues. Grew up being abused, whether it was sexually, mentally, physically. The pretty girls. It's like, I don't know if it's a pretty girl syndrome. I don't know. But I was told the pretty girls are always the ones with the craziest stories. I ain't even talking about the craziest story they did. Like, when I was what coming up, when is, I started dating the light skin. No, what I'm saying, I get what you're saying. What no. I'm saying, so I get what you're saying. I'm a pretty girl, right? I'm, or a light skin yeah, light girl, skin. right? I look at it as a pretty girl, light skin, whatever. Right. So, we're just talking. So, you're going to say to me, well, in the past, I've always been hurt mm -hmm. by light skin girls. you going to ignore the fact that I told you I'm crazy. Uh-huh. And when things don't work out, it's not going to be because I'm crazy. It's because I'm light-skinned. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm, man, my brother said, he uh, he because I have never experienced light skin. I'll be honest with you. I love Cause But then I was like, I know, I know. And my brother say, don't do it. I was like, why are you going to tell me? He said, bro, don't do it. <laughs> said, I swear to you, most of the light-skinned girls, they be off. I say, I had a, f I, and I'm not, you know. And my brother, he like he pretty G, so I'm like, bro, ain't no like, like you tripping. When I tell you one day what happened was, she crazy thing, is she had a boyfriend, right? She had a boyfriend, but she still was she was dealing with me. But one day I was like, I'm trying to get away from her, and she said, if you stop talking, to me, I'm gonna take all these pills. She started shaking the bottle. Uh -huh. I said, me taking it as a bluff because you got a boy, you got a whole boyfriend. Why are you going to do that about me? Because you got a whole boyfriend. She took him. Did she? She took him. And she passes out, um, get pumped and everything. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared like a mug. I'm checking the mom. Is she okay? <laughs> she okay? But you know why she did that over you? I mean, it's simple. You were giving her something that she was missing at home. But she, well, the nigga went at the house. You were giving her something, whether it was conversation, attention, dick, whatever you was giving her. You was giving her something that she was missing at home. From her dude. Yes. 
I'm not. I wasn't the main dude. <laughs> you guys, I'm just go, telling. Go, uh, yeah, go crazy over the main dude. I get what you're saying, <laughs> but, but okay, like you said, yo, drug dudes, right? Dope, dope dudes, right? Yeah, yeah. You just said the women that deal with them, they deal with a lot of drama because with. of the kind of dudes they are. Right. It's the same thing. I can go with that. I can go with that. But yeah, that scared me away from realize that. I never went back that way no more because my brother already said he told me that. I had to apologize <laughs> to us. You were right, bro. I should have listened to you. But it it be it be like that. I don't believe that shit. I done had both and what that? they both crazy, light skin and dark skin. Yeah, that's for the men part. I ain't dating no man, so I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I don't know about the, that. The, the, the difference was I'm gonna say the difference is the black girl, she she's willing to bust your window <laughs> with the <laughs> She's willing to bust. She's willing to chunk anything she can get her hands and lift up and put it through your window. <laughs> uh, light skin girl, she don't put her got their hands on you. She don't, put, mean, she don't put them paws, paws on you. I mean, I'm just saying. Look, look at that. See, it, I'm just. I'm thinking because me and my my first my kid's dad. I'm just trying to tell you, me and that joker went. The, what? You were hit. You were hit. What? I was. I was facing an assault with a deadly weapon charge. You know. Over you know, him. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> Look at the dark skin girl. She'll bust your window. Take the bus window. Take the bus window. Like I'm. She'll take. She'll say she. A dark skin girl. She'll walk out there with a bat, but she ain't gonna. That light skin girl walk out that bat. She, she, she gonna hit you with that bitch. I'm just saying, I, I've have, I have changed. I've been delivered <laughs> I believe. from all that. I mean, I believe. I believe. no, jail is not a place for me. So, but I mean, I mean, I again, that goes back to mental illness. At that time, I was not diagnosed. Uh -huh. I wasn't under. I wasn't on any medicine because I wasn't diagnosed. Was you worse? I'm finna tell you. I was in the military. Had just had my first son. Was Ooh. pregnant with my second son. Ooh. Was go I didn't know it. Was going through postpartum depression. You was a firecracker. <laughs> I was going through postpartum depression. And in my mind, I was like, I just had a baby. I'm so happy. Like, why do I want to kill myself, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't talk about mental health growing up. So mm -hmm. I couldn't call and ask my mama, why do I feel this way? So... You know, just like my great grandmother, great great grandmother that internalized that, uh -huh. I never talked to nobody about it. It wasn't until years later that I found out postpartum depression is a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, women have babies and then they go through depression. I never knew. I I find that out late. I think we was on child too. <laughs> I think we was on child too, and then I find yeah. that we find that out, but. That's a lot you went through at one 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 go. That one it's, it's go. It's a lot, you know. That is a that's a lot. He, like I don't know. Is he okay? <laughs> is, is, is he okay? When I tell you he hate me to this day, he uh, still he? hate me. He still uh, hate me. That dude still hate me. Oh it's man. all good though. I hope it, I hope it but does. you know what? It's funny, you know, when you say about my last name being Kingdom, mm -hmm. his last name was Battle. So, you know, people used to be like, oh, the king of battle. <laughs> <laughs> a little crazy. It was something else I had. I had said my, something else I had to ask y'all. Um, damn, I thought I forgot what it was. Damn, I thought I forgot what it was. It was something good, too. Uh oh. What was it pertaining to? I forgot. <laughs> brain I do fart. that all the time. Brain for it. Okay, fart. it's not just me. I thought it was just me. No, it's just, I was thinking like you would be gone in the middle of the conversation. Be in the middle of the conversation. Well, I'm going to tell you I enjoyed you. You are welcome at any time. Anytime. You know I'm too with any stuff, but this is what I was going to say. How can people contact you, watch your content? How can they follow you? How can they be a supporter of what you got going on? So I am on YouTube at Aurelius Kingdom. I will leave you with all my links. Okay. Um, TikTok is Aurelius. And me and my little vixen <laughs> have our little TikTok, which is socially awkward. She have more fans than me. No. She get more likes than I do. I'm 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 slick jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, views are views, right? You know, if that's what this turns into, 
creating content for Vixen, hey, you know, okay. <laughs> We creating content either way. <laughs> but I like. I, well, I think you were doing exercise and he turned the light side. He like this girl. It, it's like I can't make this shit up. Like it ain't like I could script this. That legit happened. Y'all seen it? I seen it. You turn, it turned the light. I said, that's why I say you need to get another cat. <laughs> yeah, that, that she is a mess. Have you thought about getting another cat? Or that was too, too nope, much. No, 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 no. Do you like dogs? No. At all? Nope, you, so you nope, just a straight. Nope. Cat, oh, cat person. Cat person. Let me tell you, when I was a kid, one of my cats, this, <laughs> one of my cats got killed by a dog, right? Uh -huh. When I tell you I cried and mourned like that was a real person that had passed away. Hey, Joe. But then you start hating dogs? Maybe that's what it was. No, I'm telling you, it'd be a song. Every time somebody say, I never well, I thought about really, that. I really don't deal with dogs. I'm like, what happened? I never thought about that. Yeah, I like what happened. Like with the dog, got to be something to do with dogs. That's the other thing we didn't touch on them childhood traumas. You how many childhood traumas you got? We when that that's for a whole another conversation. Hey, you open to come anytime. We gonna have to do a part two, but yeah, um, you know because we I strongly believe that most mental disorders are. First of all, they're, most of them are hereditary, uh -huh. but they're also caused or they develop because of unresolved childhood issues. Uh -huh. And it's things about, I can only speak for myself, being treated different and knowing that you were being, being treated, treated different, different. Yeah. It has a way of, Fucking you know, yeah, especially you later on one, in life. Though. Like, you ain't lie about that one. You hit where, yeah. So when you ready to come back, you are welcome back anytime. Welcome back anytime. So we're gonna. I wrap appreciate it up. you for having me. Hey, just bring your butt back. <laughs> I'll be just, back. Just bring your butt back. I appreciate you. It's rich rumors. Uh, this, it was a dope one. I love her energy. Y'all got to see her in real life. She's different in real life. So <laughs> thanks. Look at my bread. Look at my show. Look at my home. I just need that conversation. Look at my bread. Look at my show. Look like Betty in it. Betty Say my pocket's soft up, man. Spaghetti in it.